Hey, what's good with you people? Dogie Sandwich here for another episode of the podcast blog vlog thing where I talk about sodas and apparently other things, but I haven't talked about anything else in a while. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Been through some ups and some downs, but uh, we are finally here. It's been quite some time. We have been on the hunt and we have finally found our catch. The the one soda at this current moment that is on a lot of people's minds, a lot of talked out there in the wild, in the internet, in society. And some people have been really fiending for me to get my hands on. And I finally have some of Fanta's official Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice haunted apple. Now, I have not heard a single good thing about this. Uh, I, I'm a little scared, honestly, pun slightly intended. And, you know, it's, it's in the spirit of everything, but, uh, it's about that time. So without further ado, cause I don't really have anything else to do other than, you know, talk about what's happening here. Here's the crack. It's a decent crack. Oh God. I smell this a little bit. <laughs> All right. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nowhere near as bad as I've had people describe this to me. Like I, I I've had people tell me there's no way I don't gag when I take the first sip, first drink or whatever. And I mean, I didn't, it's not bad. I, I taste the apple. It really just tastes like apple peels. Now, this is coming from a person that does not eat an apple a day, does not eat an apple a week, does not eat an apple a month, does not eat an apple. E I literally can't think of the last time I've legitimately had an apple, but I can taste the apple. Like I've had apple juice. It's been a long time, but I, I remember what apple juice tastes like. I can, I can taste the apple. I, I taste something else, but it's not anywhere as bad as anybody makes it sound. It, it really feels like some amalgamation. That's the word I want to have in my head. Like some higher up fancy word for like condensed apple peels or something. Anyways, swig two. Two and three. It's... It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things that um, yeah, it's been just over high. If it was like a mystery flavor, like the, the Mountain Dew Voodoo, and I didn't know what I was walking into, I might be a little repulsed because I, I wouldn't have a ballpark. But being told it's Apple, I'm like this. Yeah, it's Apple. So it's, it's honestly, it's I number three. Actually, this is number four because uh, the last number two was a double. So number four. Yeah, this it's like it's okay. Um, I don't know if it was like supposed to be. Some bad, terrible, repulsive flavor, like rotten apple or something like that. But it's not. Um, really, I'm just like, I guess the people who've told me that they absolutely couldn't stand it just don't like the idea of an apple soda. And then I think, and I'm like, ha has anybody ever made an apple soda? Probably like some random generic chain i can't even say check i used to be about check back in the day when win dixie was really a thing around here but alas but it had to be something like a check a big case something random like that you know they they would be the kind of place that or the kind of brand that i expect to have an apple soda um and i guess i have to specifically say that yeah it's like carbonated apple and not like I don't want to say it's like an apple cidery taste. It's definitely not apple juice because there, there is some carbon in here. 
Uh, I just, I taste the apple. Um, I taste something else with it, but I don't hate whatever the other, other thing is. It's just, it's okay. Number, what is it? Five? Yeah, five. I'm halfway through this bottle because these are big swigs. Yeah, this is okay. I would, I would dare put this on like the upper end of okay, just because it's something different and it's not something terrible, repulsive or disgusting. It's, I, do I regret buying this? No, not at all. Um, it's okay. If it was the only thing to drink. Would I be upset? Would I be looking for a bottle of water? Not not really. No. <laughs> like it's it's okay. Would I buy some more? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea. And I I would do it on my own accord. But this is the kind of thing. This is one of those sodas where it's like I'd have to be sitting in a soda aisle, like on a trip or something, or like just looking at the the bottle cooler or whatever in front of a grocery store. And I'm like, I could go for something different. I don't know if I could buy like a case of this. Only because this isn't something that I'm okay with enough that I would want with any consistency but something to be variety you know like it, if this were served at like a restaurant like b-dubs or something since i i go to b-dubs every now and then to watch ufc if this was at like b-dubs i i would order this occasionally if this was at like a like a fast food chain or a restaurant that i go to i would order this occasionally it's it's okay it's okay. It's better than what people have told me. That's basically what I have with this. I I don't regret it. I wouldn't mind drinking it if it was the only thing to drink. I wouldn't mind drinking this again. I'm going to finish this bottle and I'm not going to have any qualms with it. It'll be okay. And would I buy another one? Under circumstances, yes. But the most important thing is I'm not opposed to buying this again. It's, it's fine. Excuse me, I'm kind of burping a bit. And I'm not muting the mic. It's too much effort. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's all I have. Uh, I'm also not going to record this again because I was looking up uh, time and time again. It's been so long and I noticed that uh, it might be low in some places. If it is, oop, oh well. <laughs> Hopefully the point is across and uh, I just had to get back in the routine of doing these, even though it'll be a while until the next one. Because um, yeah, I don't know what the next soda is going to be. I haven't heard about anything in quite some time. Um, I don't know if there's any other like seasonal Halloween flavors. Like I tried the voodoo, I think in the last episode or maybe the one before that voodoo was all right. It's haunted apple is it's okay. Uh, I mean, I'd have to go look and see if anybody else is doing anything. I don't remember. And then the next thing would be Christmas, I guess, unless there's some new flavor that comes up somewhere. <laughs> Cause it's not like anybody really does anything for Thanksgiving. Who's trying to have some turkey soda? <laughs> some gravy soda. <laughs> oh boy. Um But then I think all the way to uh I think to uh the to Christmas. And I'm like, y'all, y'all can't get me to try fruit quake again. That is, that's some trash. <laughs> I think there was a, I want to say there was a gingerbread soda too from like Mountain Dew or something. But no, nah, I remember fruit quake. That was, mm -mm, we ain't, we ain't doing that one again. I no, 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 no. But uh, we'll figure out something just like we, we finally found the haunted apple. Uh, we'll be back. It's just a question of when and where, how long and all that. But that's all I have for you. Thanks for hanging out for roughly 10 minutes, 945. It's going to be 10 when this finishes. But um, yeah, uh, if you got any suggestions, like always throw them at me. Uh, as long as it's a soda or something in the neighborhood of a soda, I'll see if I can find it around me. 
and give it the old taste test and throw my opinion out there. But until then, I'm going to be on the lookout on my end. With that, we out of here. Be easy, yo. Peace.